Hey there, Michelle again with Canines in the Capital. I'm here with Daisy and it's her very first day of her program. We're going to be finning her with her prong collar uh, in order to be able to better communicate to her what's expected. So, bear with me here. We'll be able to trade out these two leashes which aren't doing very good for her neck, the poor thing, because she's a lunger, she's a puller. Oh, very nice, good. She's a lunger, she's a puller. She is attracted to anything that moves, makes a noise. Um, so even if you're just walking across the room, she'll want to follow you. Um, so I've gone ahead and removed the amount of lengths that's already fitted for her. And the way that this works is, um, sometimes they refer to it as a pinch collar. I guess it's because you have to pinch the prongs to get it through and whatnot. Um, so let me explain the mechanics here. You've got a swivel ring here that goes all the way around. That ring um, is the one that the leash attaches to. The other ring, is this one goes closest to the dog's body and the reason that that's there is just to allow the chain not to go all the way through the, uh, the prong collar um, and uh, so yeah to open and close the prong collar you can easy come here good sit as long as it takes Good. Um, so the way that you can pull it apart, there are two ways actually. Uh, some people like to do it from the plate, the middle plate here, um, and uh, it gives a little bit of leverage so you can, good girl, so you can pinch the prongs through the plate and force it through, as such. And when you go to attach it again, pinch the prongs, align it with the holes, so you can see my delicate, delicate fingers and some strength here, and there you have it. Personally, myself, I like to go directly in the prong itself. Daisy. Oh, you're just getting some water, are you? Okay, come on. Let's go. Sit. Sit. Good. Uh, as I was saying, myself, I like to go through the prong itself. It gives me a little bit more leverage, um, but it's a very personal choice. It does take a little bit of practice, so do take the collar off uh, the dog and practice without, uh, without the dog attached. So what you can do is push up on the prong a little bit, pinch them as they go through the loop, and there you go, it comes undone. Put it back together, pinch the prongs together, align them with the loops, and they fit through. Now, there's uh, it's not a good idea to try to fit one prong through and then the other prong through. That's not going to work. It's not how the, the collar is designed. You really have to simultaneously pinch both prongs through the loops and get it as such. Um, a good practice also is uh, when the dog is not wearing the collar, leave the prong collar unattached and open, um, especially when there's multiple people in the house. If you were to uh, accidentally not reattach the prong properly and somebody else was going to take Daisy, for example, out for her next walk and chose a different area to detach the prong collar, um, of course the collar is compromised and can come undone very easily while uh, while you're out walking. So just a best practice when it, the dog's not when the dog when the collar's not on the dog, just hang it up and uh, keep it open. So Miss Daisy, are you ready? Heard something in the hallway. We like it when you're nice and calm. Good. So I'm going to detach a prong here, fit it under her neck. Again, the full loop is closest to her body. The swivel loop is on the outside, the one that the leash is going to be attached to. And I'm gonna fit it just over 
her ear. So the basic idea, can we see this? Let's make her stand up. Up, up. So the basic idea here is to get the prong as high up as possible. Oh, of course, Daisy, you're out of shot. Let me explain it, and then I'll bring the camera closer. So get the um, the collar as high up as possible onto the dog's neck, and um, I'll show you. So, hi Daisy. So you want it up here as high as possible onto the dog's neck, ideally behind the ears, and as high up as possible near their jawline. Um, that is the place where, like I call, like I like to call between brain and body. That is the best place to communicate with your dog. What's expected of them on leash, especially with a prong collar, uh, with fingertip precision, you can uh, communicate to your dog what you're asking of them, whether it's a heel, whether it's a down, uh, keep up, etc. So, just a quick glance again. All right, sit. Good. So let's take a quick peek here. Hello, beautiful Daisy. So up high here, around the neck. Oh, hi. Yes, I smell good, don't I? And sit and close below. Close right under the jawline. Yes. Now, now reality is about to set in because I'm going to attach the leash to her. Sit. Sit. Good. So I've already detached the one leash. And I personally walk my dogs on the left. And I'll explain why that matters in a moment. Oh, and she's being so good too. 